Welcome back boys and girls. Today we are going to use coffee and tea to create a watercolour painting of this unknown soldier in time for Anzac Day. Let's get started. Step number one, we need to boil a kettle filled with some water. Remember we're using a boiling water so please get the help from a parent or adult when pouring your hot water. Step number two, we are getting a little bit teaspoon of coffee and one tea bag for each of our cups. I'm only using very, very small little cups, espresso cups, because we don't need that much um, water and we don't really need that much tea or coffee for our painting. The more water you add, the more diluted or um, transparent your painting will be. So you really want to make only a little bit of water. And honestly, I could have put half the amount in each of these cups is what I did. Okay, and step number two, I'm starting to draw a sketch of this unknown soldier that was a part of World War I from the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. I start sketching out and I do this very, very lightly as I don't want to see the pencil once I'm finished my watercolour. Okay, now it's time to get our paintbrushes and I'm starting to use my tea. Now the tea is much lighter and has more of a yellow hue to it, more of a yellow colour than the coffee. The coffee has more of a brown look to it and it is quite a bit darker. So you want to start off with your tea base. The tea we're going to put around the face, around the coat, pretty much everything is in one very light coat of tea. Places like the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, on the cheeks, and any um, bright little bits of gold or buttons, you want to keep white, so don't put too much tea over these. Now I've finished with my tea base, it's time to use our coffee. Give it a bit of a stir because sometimes the coffee can settle to the bottom of your cup. Now I'm going over some of the shaded areas. So I refer back to my picture and I look for the real shaded areas. So under the hat, the eyes, the eyebrows, around the jawline, under the neck, the collar of the shirt and jacket. And I start adding in these features. Now I want to add a little bit more depth to my painting. So I go back to my tea and I add tea um, to the jacket, to the rim of the hat, the soldier's jawline, forehead, cheek, just to add a little bit more depth to my picture. Don't add too much at this stage, otherwise it'll be a wet, blurry mess. Now for my final stage, I get a paintbrush, I dip it in some of the tea, some of the coffee, and I use the back of my finger to flick the paint bristles so they make splatters on my page. You don't want too many splatters, you just want a little bit just to add that old look, um, to add a little bit of depth to your picture. This is optional, you don't have to do this, I think it adds to it. Be sure to add your signature to the bottom and enjoy. Thanks, happy Anzac Day.